Shoot, what's up guys? Good morning, good morning. I'm out here in the garage again. Gonna mess with the TJ. It's been a long time since I touched this thing. At least, a, at least two or three months. Been slowly ordering parts for her. I have enough parts right now where I can get a lot of stuff done. So I'm gonna jump on that and take advantage of my day off today. And we got some decent weather here. It's not negative 25 today. So that's a plus. I'm gonna get in on the front end of this thing. Um, I have decided to take the 4.0 out. I took the 4.0 out yesterday. Transmission, transfer case, drive shaft, all one go. Had some help from some friends. Was legit. Uh, and I'm gonna put a 5.3 with a turbo in this thing. Um, yeah, I have um, all the parts I need basically. I think I just need a few things like a fuel pressure regulator and some injectors. But I have basically everything else. Um, we're gonna be using a Gen 4 5.3. Uh, it came from the wrecking yard. It was a DOD failure motor. And it spins over fine. Uh, I'm gonna put a about to build an engine stand and throw it on the engine stand and get it cleaned up and whatnot. Probably roll it out in the driveway, plug the holes off, pressure wash them down, get it cleaned up so I can uh, get it apart, get the cam in it, and uh, I'm gonna get some paint on it. That way it looks decent because the TJ has an open, basically an open front. So I kind of want the motor to look good. I'm gonna paint it up, I'm gonna paint the firewall up and stuff, um, and uh, get some head gaskets, throw the heads on it and see about where the turbo is going to land that's uh that's what i'm most curious right now and then get some motor mounts built for this thing um so yeah that's the plan stan um that's what i'm planning on doing so let me spin the camera around i'll show y'all what i'm working with right now and uh show y'all my plans all right here we are here she is she is all stripped down no motor no trans no transfer case heck i even got the ecu wiring harness all that stuff off because i'm not using none of that um probably going to use some of this wiring harness i haven't really got familiar with this tj wiring harness just yet um, a lot of stuff goes to the engine and uh, some of the stuff goes to the fuse box so really not sure what i can cut out of this and what i can't cut out of it so I want to retain my heat, my radio functions, and that's about it. I don't really care if these gauges work or not. Uh, I think I'm going to put in a different dash here, and I don't really care if the tail lights and all that stuff works because I can wire up some brake lights, and this thing ain't going to be on the road that much. And if it is, I'll throw some hand signals out. I'm not really worried about signals and lights and stuff like that. This is going to be a off-road specific jeep i have an on-road jeep this is going to be my off-road jeep only probably gonna get trailered everywhere since it's on sticky compound tires and uh yeah so here's the 5.3 got this thing from a guy i know and uh he was he gets these motors when they uh, have the afm dod failure so I got this one, I think it was 200 bucks, Gen 4 Iron Block 5.3. Um, the cylinder walls are in awesome shape. Uh, it spins over freely, it doesn't lock up anywhere. As long as the cam slides out and there's no cam bearing issues, I'm gonna call this a win. Um, I'll know that today, because I'm gonna build the stand today and get her all cleaned up, take it apart, and uh, we'll see about uh, what the cam bearings look like. I'm hoping they're good. I'd say they're good. I haven't ever ran into a cam bearing issue on the Gen 4 one yet. I've ran into a couple of the Gen 3 stuff. I have a 6 over here, Gen 3 6 over here that uh, has spun cam bearing in it. I'm going to figure that out later. Not really worried about it today. We're also going to be running a Terminator X on this boy. Come on. Yeah, so got a Terminator X in the box here. I also have a 4L80 controller. This is not an X-Max. So we're not going to be using this. Um, this was to my vet, so this is going to go on the shelf. And we're just going to be using that. But I do have a 4080 for this thing, and I am going to be converting it to manual shift. So it is over here. I won't have to be worrying about all the shift points and electronic stuff and not holding gears or having to get another X-Max to control it. I'm just going to man 
manually shift that guy. I'm gonna convert it to manual shift. And that'll be that. I have a 3600 stall. It's over here, right there. Um, got a set of heads over there we're gonna use. We got plenty of lifters and trays and valve covers and parts over here that got a cam and some rockers and everything. You got studs, spark plugs. I got a TBSS intake. Uh, yeah, I stacked parts for a good minute and I think I'm ready to get back on this. Um, I haven't touched the welding in the back yet. I still got a ton of welding to do back here. I've been really cleaning my garage up and trying to get stuff situated. Also wanted to get my turbo truck in here. We're gonna do a video on this thing for too long. Sick. Yeah, I need to get back to welding. Something's up with my welder. I'm not really sure. I'm having feed issues on the Forney. So I'm gonna take it apart today and get it going. See what I need to do to make that right. And then I'm gonna put this engine stand together and just basically see what all I got going on. And then uh, hopefully by midday, I'll have this motor sitting in here mocked up where we can uh, hopefully fab up some motor mounts or something and get this thing uh, get this thing going. So let me stop yakky yakking. I want to get back on this. I'm gonna throw the heater on again, and uh, I'm probably gonna put this motor stand together and get this engine on that stand. That way I can get it movable around, move it around, get it outside, get it cleaned up, get while it's dry, I can come in here and uh, play with the welder. And then throw some paint on the motor, <clears throat> and then uh, I'm going to hoist it. I'm going to get it on the hoist, get it back off the stand. After I get the cam and everything in it, we'll do that today, hopefully. Get the cam and whatnot in it. That's what we got, boys and girls. So I'm going to get to it. Um, we'll start yakking and see if I can't get some uh, progress on this thing. All right, got a lot of my, oof, got a lot of my mess cleaned up. I just got to sweep up this little bit right here, a little bit right there. And... Got the 5.3 up on the engine stand. Uh, kind of don't trust my bolt set up here because I didn't have any. I need to find a socket or a pipe and a washer to fit here. But all right now, this is what I have. So I'm leaving the chain on it just in case she drops and won't fall on me. I'm going to bust this front cover off. I'm going to probably bust the oil pan off. And yeah, I'm going to bust the pan off. I got a bunch of corrody, corrodiness going on here. Um, no, I'm gonna get the cam in it and get the front cover back on it because I'm painting everything black So I'm just gonna get the cam back on it the front cover back on it and not put the pulley back on it or Or my sensor wire. I'm gonna leave that off and I'm gonna paint all this thing black um, Besides the heads everything's gonna be black besides the heads and it's gonna be flat black murder black whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna get my uh, pulley puller, pull this pulley off real quick, pull the cover, swap the cam, and we're gonna put it back together and wash them down and paint them. I know I probably should wash it before I take it apart, but I really wanna get this cam in for the weather changes. Um, if it doesn't, if I don't get to wash it right now, that's fine, or paint it right now, that's fine. I can still heave it in and out. I just wanna get this cam and oil pump in there. Um, yeah. I just want to see if the cam bearings are good, so I'm going to grab the pulley puller. We're going to pull the pulley off, the front cover off, all that jazz, and see if these cam bearings are good or no. Let's see, I got all my pulley pullers in here. Puller set. Let me get on this real quick. It's gonna be loud. It's like five days. All right, try this again. But yeah, it's like five days later. Um, I've been looking online, looking at motor mounts and stuff. Uh, sorry it's loud, I got my shop heat going right now. I'm gonna try to talk really loud, but I got my, uh, been looking online at like Novak adapters for motor mounts, stuff like that. And um, I'm just gonna make my own, I think. I think it'll be quicker and cheaper. I have stuff, tons of metal here. I have a welder, I have bolts. Um, so I'm gonna make my own motor mounts. I've slid this motor in about three or four times and I think I've got a good idea of where it needs to be. So the only other thing I need to know is where my transmission needs to be um, as far as angle this way. 
I know on my drag stuff, you want your motor and your pinion and your transmission tail shaft level as possible. Um, on this, I know that, you know, pinion angles quite a bit, so I may tilt mine down about five degrees or so. Not sure yet on that, but I'm gonna do a little more research on that. But like I said, I gotta get the transmission on here before I can get my, now, cause I don't want the transmission hanging way down or something be like this or it pushing up. I want everything to be right when I build these mounts. Cause guys, I'm gonna build a cross member for the transmission also, so. All right, so this is what we got right here. Well, let me tighten this mic up a little bit. All right, that's what we got right here. So the only issues are the turbo is hitting my arm here. So I bought some turbo flanges and I'm gonna, make me a spacer for the turbo I'm just gonna space it up that'll work for that my hot side all that stuff that stuff's gonna be good it's gonna clear all this uh, I need to get the transmission in here also and on this side I was more impressed with this side than anything I always hear you know people have issues getting uh, headers on these but this is a semi long header and it went let me move these lines away. I had to cut a little bit right here I'm gonna clean that up when I paint it but it clears everything. It clears my arm, my mount, all of that. So we're gonna be golden down there. Yeah, we're gonna send it. But like I said, I'm gonna pull this back out here in a minute and I'm gonna get my converter and my transmission and all that stuff uh, and I'll button it to the motor for good. And we're gonna drop that thing back in there. I have my, I also had to buy a three bolt crank pulley because the Gen 4 stuff is one bolt. So I got that whole assembly coming with the tension and all that and I can button this back up put the oil pan on I got an oil pump down here I got a new milling oil pump pickup tube mo ring so she's gonna be she's gonna be living life to the fullest I gotta get still gotta buy ICT I still need to buy a um, valley cover delete thing and delete that DOD and some injectors and that's it I've got a throttle body on the way I've got all my stuff I need I believe yep yeah, basically injectors and an intercooler is about all I need it's what I'm seeing so all right, I got a ton of welding done. Got a lot of welding done up under here. Um, I'm pretty cool with the back end part. I got uh, this little this little bracket right here welded on like that other side. So I'm put my shock on here. Um, I just got frustrated because it's just so much junk in the way. Uh, I don't like to work like that. So yet again, I'm stopping cleaning up shop, getting stuff out of the way so I don't trip over it. And I want at least four to five foot of walkway around this thing all the way before I'm happy. Um, I just cannot work in clutter, I cannot. My garage is small and I don't have a lot of storage or space for my things, so I continue to stop and tidy up and I had to, I'm about to take care of the Valdez oil spill here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna clean the rest of this stuff up, going, going. Uh, mailman came, brought me my three bolt cam gear. What else? That's about all I did. Um, it's about 2.30 right now. I didn't start till like 11, so didn't really get the full day. I'm gonna get the entire full day tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up early in the morning and I'm gonna absolutely hammer this thing. Um, I hope to have the motor and transmission in place tomorrow and I hope to have the motor built and put together tonight. Um, I'm gonna pull it out here in a little bit. I'm gonna put the oil pan on it, oil pump. I can button it back up now. I'm gonna run in town, buy some head gaskets, take the heads back off, clean up uh, all the motor, clean the surface, stick the head gaskets on, put the heads on, torque the heads down. Um, what else? Then we're gonna to have to put fluid in the converter, put the converter on the trans, and then, yeah, we should be, we should be golden. So I'm gonna continue cleaning, not gonna bother y'all with that, but yeah, we're moving, moving on this thing. Um, my, like I said, my goals I haven't run in two weeks, we shall see or not, but I'm gonna keep hitting, hitting it. So I'm gonna wad the welder up over here for right now, kind of done with it. I'm glad to get this transmission out of the corner because it gives up a whole corner right there. I can put my welder over there, maybe an engine stand or something, tidy it up. So let me get back on this thing. I'm excited. I'm glad it's uh, moving forward and uh, yeah. Shoo-wee. All right, got the motor back out, heads back off. Um, 
Oil pumps on and shimmed. Uh, new pickup tubes on. I'm about to uh, throw the pan on and throw the front cover on it. And then I'm gonna set it down uh, on the ground and we are going to, hold on, I'm cording away. Sorry about that, cords in the way. We're gonna set her down. I got the mating surfaces cleaned up fairly decent. I'm gonna copper spray these gaskets and we're gonna glue these gaskets on here and torque these heads down. And then we'll probably, uh, we'll torque the heads down. We're gonna tape the heads off and uh, I'm gonna pull it out here and I'm gonna spray some of this gunk off of it. Uh, throw a coat of paint on it. And yeah, we'll be, uh, We'll be rocking and rolling, boys and girls. Pretty excited, so yeah, I'm just gonna put it all together and put the heads on it and then trash bag tape the heads up and all the ports and stuff and put sensors and bolts and all the bolt holes, make sure it's sealed up. And I am going to pressure wash the crap out of it, pressure wash this transmission as well, get it cleaned up. And we're gonna put the oil and a torque converter and we're gonna mate these two together for one last time and I'm going to um, attempt to get it in here by myself if not I'm probably going to tap out and call a buddy and um, while it's out though I got some welding to do so I think I'll button it all up get it together leave it sitting here in the floor uh, for now the transmission and motor set up I'll leave it sitting here on the floor bolt it together or maybe on one of these stands or something and um, I'll get finish weld these two brackets up here that I have. I got my two upper brackets I still need to finish weld on and gusset those up and then uh, the motor's ready to go in and make mounts. So pretty excited about that. So yeah, I got a new timing chain kit, all that stuff in here, oil pump. Uh, the HD tensioner. That's the same tensioner as on my LS2 Fet car. So yeah, this thing's gonna be all good up front. Hopefully, uh, bottom end feels good. I hope this thing don't knock or nothing. I get it, get it. It looked really, really good on the bottom end. Um, cam's good. We got her all cleaned up on the inside. I blew it all the dust and stuff off of it. Now the inside of it. So probably do an oil change and get, probably get this thing hot and run it and um, do a couple heat cycles and then dump the oil out. Uh, clean out of the trash that's been sitting in this thing for a while and then yeah let me um, stop yapping get this oil pan this front cover bolted back on and then uh, I'm gonna set it down on probably one of these stands and um, torque the heads get the heads on it lifters lifters trays all that stuff in here I got push rods lifters lifter trays put the heads and head gaskets on it and I'm gonna at least cinch them down. Probably not torque them yet. Uh, I don't have, I'm gonna borrow my buddy's torque wrenches, but at least cinch them down, get them tight uh, where they seal, and uh, we're gonna wash this dude down. All right, so I got the head bolts in. Um, heads are on. Head gaskets are on. Um, valve covers are on. I'm fixing to tape up all the holes and run this thing. I'm gonna pull it out here, and I'm gonna pressure wash it down. And while it's hanging, I'm probably gonna paint it right there. I'm just wash the bottom end part down, paint it, and then um, gonna pressure wash that thing off too, not paint it. Transmission that is. And then I don't know if I'm gonna get them bolted together tonight because I had to go do two things today that I didn't plan on doing, so that really hurt my time. So I may have to uh, I may have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, to get it together and attempt to get it in the uh, yeah attempt to get it in the uh, in the Jeep so I think what I'll do is get all this done tonight call it a day I'll get up in the morning I'll get in here and I'll weld my weld what I need to be welding take me about 20 30 minutes I'll be done and then I can um, try to mate these two by myself I don't know if I can or not that's my plan so I'm gonna see if I can Pull the cherry picker over here and grab a hold of this thing and uh, lift it up. Pull it out here and we'll clean it off. All right, guys. Tired. Did what I had to do. Saving the welding for morning. It's late at night. 
Um, I've got the engine completely together painted um, and start painting uh, valve covers and some accessory brackets and the bottom pulley but I got her looking good just flat blacked it all this valley cover the DOD the delete cover will be here tomorrow I just used a um, 4.8 cover from a 2009 or 10 uh, Silverado 4.8 they didn't have this uh, DOD stuff and if you just buy the cover it'll delete it that's uh, I think I got like 50 bucks off Amazon it was on Prime it'll be here tomorrow and then I'm gonna figure out how to flip this thing back around probably just use the chain hoist flip this dude back around and we're going to try to mate it tomorrow to the transmission if not figure it out but I'm gonna try to mate it to the transmission tomorrow and try to slide this thing in here. Everything's done in here. It's you now we got it's all cleaned up. I just gotta drop the push rods and put the rocker arms. They're all here. Here's all the rockers. Here's my push rods. I got some more bolts for the water pump and stuff. Those are for the exhaust, and those are new seals and bolts for the valve covers. And I have a new front seal I want to put in, and I have the um, valley plate gasket in case they don't come with one and that's that um, all I have to do is order a water pump alternator and figure out how I'm going to put my PSC pump on here that's the only thing I don't know how to do right now so I'm going to go inside and research that um, I don't know how long this video is going to be I may chop this up so this may or may not be the end of it a couple more cool things came in today um, throttle body uh, how to have a drive-by cable throttle body so that's cool and then this right here is how I'm gonna get my fuel this is a TJ fuel regulator delete um, if you know anything about TJ's the fuel regulator pops in on top of the gas or get or the fuel pump hat like you know where you put your fuel pump in all the lines come out this snaps on there and a little bar comes over the top of it and like locks it in like this and holds it down you see it's got an o-ring well with this someone made this to go in there and it's got a feed and return and your turn comes out those little holes right there so that's super cool so we're going to run a feed and also have a 525 uh, pump Let's see there it is a 525 liter per hour walbro the exact same pump that is in a dodge hellcat any of the hellcats you see will have this pump in it right here so that's good for about um, probably five, six hundred horsepower on ethanol, maybe more. So, and we got all the fuel line or fuel fittings. I got my fuel line. So, as soon as we're ready for the fuel system, I got that. So, also got the moto built tank. If uh, anybody missed my last videos, got the moto built tank. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna set that guy yet. Um, I may put it back here. Not real sure about me. I may put it about midways right here and here. Uh, central everything be pretty protected, and then I have some room for storage up there. And if I want to throw anything back here, I could. I guess I don't know if I want to run a tailgate or not. I think I will, but who knows. But that's all I'm doing for today, boys. I'm going inside. I'm going to buy some parts and do some research. Really liked how this motor turned out with the flat black. Yep, yeah, she's coming along. So, like always, boys and girls, or 1% females that watch my channel, that's for you too, boys and girls. So, to the 1%, I appreciate you guys for watching too. And uh, to the 98 and something percent men, as my boys right there, I appreciate y'all. Always appreciate y'all. So, this thing's going to be uh, my main project here for the next couple months. So, if you're into this videos, there's going to be a ton of them. Yeah, I'm going to get off here. I appreciate y'all for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, please. That'll help me out greatly. I got like. And if you don't, that's cool too. I appreciate you. Later. Going in and out recessions the same way that I be going in and out of Texas.